hello 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 guys welcome back to another video this is the football connect so the game finished the liverpool for sevilla won in an amazing game by the way when you're watching it it seems like this team is coming of age there's a lot of things that you can see that is changing some players they just came for the first time i think they only have about four or five days with the manager so you can see that he's still working on the team but we're actually here to talk about what we saw this if you are interested with some player ratings if you are interested in also me reacting to the manager's thoughts over the game join me on the connect as i'll be doing this a few minutes or i'll just put the video at the end of this video you click it where i'll be doing my reaction as well as what we saw today but one thing i can tell you what a game we have a team here and the ball is showing that something exciting is happening. I was always worried to see how the likes of Alisson, Virgil van Dijk who, who become accustomed to this type of play where you build from the back trying to go forward. And uh, Alisson, we already know, is a goal-playing keeper and is really good with his feet. No problems at all. He showed it again. He's really one of the best. As well as Virgil van Dijk. I think today we just saw him doing his the basics to him. He was making sure that no team players goes behind him and stuff like that. One thing that I said about this, this type of play that we're doing with this unslot blow ball is this. Every single time whenever the team is attacking on the right, I said this before, the left side, uh, left side of the player comes back to make a back three at the back to help out in defense if they lose the ball, to help out. So there is a structure that Klopp has set up or that slot has set up. Oh my God, look at that. Slot and Klopp. That slot has set up and it is easy for the team to actually flow. That's why some of the players that maybe were struggling under Klopp are actually starting to shine. The likes of Gravenberg. So many people were confused. Exactly what can we get from this guy? How can he be used in this Liverpool team? Exactly what would Liverpool do to get the best out of this guy but today we saw him doing everything easy moving with the ball as easy as he can and making the game even more exciting so that's one thing that you need to notice because so many players maybe they just need to play under a double pivot to actually get the best of them because they could not do it under a single pivot so that's one thing that we can take out that we can say this is the best thing we saw from the team as well as i think it's time for us to actually see that I think we have to actually agree on this. Konza deserve that position. Konza should be starting as the right center back for Liverpool. I remember I told you on the preview of this game, if you watch it on the Football Connect LFC, where I was saying that I do believe today's game will give us an ideal look of how Liverpool will look like going into the next the game that we're going to be playing against um nothing is it ipswich town i knew that we would see an idea of how liverpool is set up of course allison will be back at go verge of and could be there as well as konza trent alexander arnold and the other one that i did not see expect but i saw it's constantino timikas i don't know maybe robertson is not 100 percent fit but timikas we did see him pe performing in that game and he's just continuing to do what is well well way easy for him to do controlling that bullying the players who are running with the ball trying to attack and that is it just to make football easy and that's what we're seeing from this football and one thing about it it's difficult for players to actually hurt others because they have a clear plan over moving they are not being left exposed whenever they lose the ball it's easy for the likes of Konza, Virgil van Dijk to cover for each other whenever they've been exposed but because of what's happening that these guys only have a week starting to learn this type of play you can still see from the game that there's still a few things that are missing from the team in which that i'm hoping that they can try by means to get well uh, actually try to improve to be better so that we can start to see the game actually flowing the way we want to see it because in the first in the first 10 or 15 minutes we saw konza lost lost the ball once i think graven had some mil, few misplaced passes McAllister doing what he does but he could not go that far because of how graven was not yet comfortable but when they fell into the well like when they were now in the system and everything was flowing it was easier to see the idea of what the manager was trying to achieve and the boys started to flow with the game seeing the passes and you can even see it from the second goal which was scored because the first goal whatever you say trent alexander and is always gonna do those crosses and one out of ten times diogo jota hit that ball to perfection to that near post 
whether you like it or not it's a girl that i don't think will see it again because that's how unique it is it's an amazing girl that you know you just have to say oh wow i didn't see this one coming and that's what happened really to be honest but one thing i can tell you from this liverpool team there were a lot of things that liverpool used to do on the club which we were worried that we would lose in this team and i think today we got to see a few bits of them that know they're actually not going anywhere they're just gonna continue playing that same way firstly i was worried if we were gonna see trent alexander not to being limited to actually do those long balls those passes to diagnose those passes being you know the quarterback of the team setting up the balls spreading the game but i can see that he has found a way to actually allow trent alexander not to play his game yet doing what the manager is asking him to do and actually doing it to perfection because i think today he actually did some he had so many recoveries in this game he was able to recover the ball to help with the team in terms of going forward and actually being you know one one a team player for change and also the other one which is really important ryan gravenberg as a double pivot i know the zuba mendy situation is taking light time everyone is already tired of that deal we all know that Graven Beach in mind he has to be the player who starts in the first game because unless the Zuba Mendy thing is sorted today while I'm live, I don't see it that he will be ready even for the Ipswich game. So remember he has to move if he's moving, if he's gonna be coming to the team. So I don't see that one because I know he's going to be the guy who starts well with that player, but we will see as the game goes how Liverpool gets to get the best. One of the players that I was really worried about because I felt like maybe it's that small injury that he suffered in the last preseason against United in which he did not play was Dominic Soboslai. I felt like today he was losing chances and he was taking time to actually build something. But at the end of the game, I saw him coming into the game, starting to perform well and doing what he does well. So I was really impressed by him. McAllister being marker setting up the passes spreading the ball and i think this passing game building and destroying teams in midfield it's one of the games he's really going to enjoy to play because he's really comfortable with the ball he knows how to control it and i cannot wait to see how this one goes on like as well as the constant uh, simikas simikas feels like he's really fitting well under this slot ball and he feels like he's really enjoying this this place he's playing and i wonder can that in a way force him to actually remain playing other than Robertson or Robertson will come and get the game? Because I did see Robertson performing well. So I wonder what's going to happen with that one. But one thing you can see, there is an amazing player there. He's really enjoying what he's doing. Luis Diaz, it's like he's back to the best. We saw him under Klopp when he came the first time. Being very, very... He's really excited to do what he does, destroying the teams, covering that wing, moving it, doing his trickle passes, coming inside, trying to score goals, and that's why the first goal was amazing. As well, running, following from the right side, that's why that Dom uh, Dominic Sobers like pass was perfect to him, and he just kicked it in an empty net. Those are some of the things that we need from the team, and one thing I have to really give some respect to is what the, the role that Diego Jota is playing. Of course, people will remember the goal he scored. It was a unique goal, an amazing goal. But one thing that I'm seeing from him, if he's receiving the ball from Allison, if Allison decides to go long, he's really good in receiving the ball and setting it to the right players. He gets the ball, he passes to the midfielders, either Gravenberg or maybe McAllister, even Dominic Soboslai. And sometimes, at some point, that's why if you look at the second goal, which was scored, was it the third goal which was scored by by Diaz? It was Jota who received the ball. He passed it, I think, to to, to either Marco or Gravenberg. I think it was Gravenberg. And Gravenberg was able to spot the run of Dominic Sobos. Like, setting it up to him, he was alone. And the keeper tried to follow. And he was able to sway it easy to Luis Diaz to finish on an empty net. Those are some of the things you're going to be seeing from slot ball, which is going to make this team amazing. It's really going to make this team so amazing. So you should be ready for those. The other thing that I did see, which is really important if you are paying attention, and I'm hoping that slot will work on him. It was on Simicas. One thing that I did discover from Liverpool, whenever they go and they overlap to, to try and cross the ball in, they don't really cross it close to the keeper. They bring it in back so that the team can actually be able to play and score the chances. And I felt like maybe, just maybe, Tibikas was crossing and making it easy for the goalkeeper to catch. And I feel like maybe the sooner they get to understand what they're doing, 
he will be doing something that we saw a Connor Bradley doing. Trent Alexander not did it today, but the ball just could not come out from the player's legs, and the way it was easy for Sevilla to defend. So there is a lot we can still see which can develop to be an amazing team as well as an amazing game from this Liverpool squad. But at this moment, we just have to enjoy the perfection. We just have to enjoy slot ball because it's amazing. This is what we were asking for. We wanted to see Liverpool playing football for a change, playing football footy that we can all be happy for and actually be smiling. And that's what we are seeing here. The build up still haven't changed, even though it was still a bit rush, rush rushed a bit or maybe a bit scrappy. You can see that the guys are getting and they're gelling in into the type of build-up that Anastasia is expecting. And I'm telling you, sooner or later, this will become perfect. And I cannot wait to see how the new season holds on to. But I'm not going to go out without talking about the main man, Diogo Jota. That goal, that goal, the way he was able to connect that goal in scoring that goal, man, this man is amazing. I always say it, and I'll keep saying it, Diogo Jota is the best goal scorer Liverpool has this in the club and until and until something like that changes i don't see it diogo jota will still remain being the best goal scorer for this team so it's exciting to see what we are seeing here people and i cannot wait sooner or later these reactions will be leaving the tfc people you should go check it out there's a liverpool channel go check it out on there as well as what i'll be doing the other thing so the reaction channel will be the reaction video will be coming right now over my game looking at what i thought and the re, uh, giving my own stats to say what did the player did, did they deserve in terms of how they performed? So I'm gonna be reacting to how they did and how I was excited over. I think Allison did really enjoy this game today because I felt like he did not do so much. The things that he had to do, he was perfect at it. No much pressure that he was facing. He was just playing the game as easy as he can. That's why we love him, our number one. I'm excited over the new season. Salah being Salah, the leader at the front, causing chaos, all of these things, people will talk about them in the reaction channel. So check it out. Click the like button, subscribe. This way, my reaction over the match as a whole. And I'm going to be doing my reactions over the game and to all the players that came in. I'm out. Click the like button, subscribe to connect. We're out. Peace. Subscribe to the